हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक टेस्ट फॉर ड्रग्स राइट सो अंडर दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टिल नाउ द बेसिक टेस्ट फॉर द फार्मास्यूटिकल सब्सटेंसेस बेसिक टेस्ट फॉर मेडिसिनल प्लान मटेरियल्स नाउ दिस इज अ टाइम टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक टेस्ट फॉर फार्मास्यूटिकल डोजेज फॉर्म राइट सो इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट देर आर सो मेनी फार्मास्यूटिकल डोजेज फॉर्म आर बींग मैन्युफैक्चर्ड एवरी टाइम सो राइट सो वेन एवर एनी लेबोरेटरी विच इज नॉट वेल इक्विप्ड सो इन दैट केस वेन एवर दे वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर दी test uh, the basic test the minimum test required to check the particular identity purity and quality of the particular pharmaceutical doses form what can be the test and what are the minimum test which can be done to identify the particular pharmaceutical doses form that has been designed by the who guidelines for the basic test of drugs that only we are going to discussing in the unit 1 so let's let's start with the class right so basic test for drug in that test procedure for pharmaceutical doses form right so in pharmaceutical doses form there are some important medicine from important pharmaceutical doses form it is available so what can be the basic test for them that we are going to write under this answer right so the first drug which is important drug which start from alphabet a that is the amikacin sulfate injection right so generally it is sterile solution and in that uh, there will be the 250 mg amikacin it is going to be there right so it's nothing but parenteral product injection with the uh, sulfate salt the drug is amikacin how we are going to prepare the sample the preparation of sample uh, it will be uh, as it is injection it will be available in the ampules uh, that ampules we are going to break and we are going to divide the entire solution uh, into the two equal volume the volume one it will be sample a or test sample a and the in volume another volume uh, another one volume we are going to add 25 ml of water that will become the uh, test sample two right so with this uh, two test sample how we are going to perform the test to identify the first test test solution 2 whatever the volume in volume 1 to 25 ml of water we added no in that uh, we are going to add the sodium hydroxide 1 ml and the cobalt nitrate 2 ml so it is going to give you the violet color that will confirm confirm the given sample of injection it is amikacin sulfate second test you can perform that is the test solution 1 which uh, after uh, dividing into two equal volume the first volume we have decided for the test sample 1 so with that test sample 1 we are going to add enthron 2 ml it is going to give you the bluish violet color that will confirm the presence of amikacin sulfate third test you can perform the test solution 2 we are going to add the barium chloride it is going to give you the a uh, white ppt white precipitate that will confirm the presence of amikacin sulfate right the second important which start from alphabet b that is the important drug that is the beclomethasone di- uh, dipropionate inhalational or inhalation aerosol it's it's actually uh, gas right aerosol means gas so uh, uh, how we are going to prepare the sample on 25 ml of ethanol we are going to spray 60 spray dose right so that 60 spray if you do that aerosol it will be it will be like a aero, uh, means in the gas spray the compressed gas so if you do 60 spray 3 mg is going to be dissolved in the uh, 25 ml of ethanol so that will become your test sample so in that uh, uh, if you evaporate 10 ml it will become test sample 1 if you will evaporate 20 ml it is it will become test sample 2 so with that we are going to perform the basic test the first basic test for beclomethasone it is test solution 1 right after evaporating 10 ml it become test solution 1 in that 20 uh, sorry 2 ml of h2so4 if you add for and stand it for 5 minutes you are going to observe dark reddish brown color that will confirm the presence of beclomethasone in the particular uh, aerosol second test you can do test solution 2 we are going to add which we have uh, evaporated after uh, spraying 20 ml if you evaporate that become a uh, test solution 2 in that test solution 2 2 ml of ethanol again you are going to add and after that uh, two things uh, you are going to add which you have to remember uh, tetra methyl ammonium di uh, dihydroxide uh, sorry hydroxide and uh, triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride if you add this to uh, you are going to get the red color that will confirm the presence of beclomethasone uh, beclomethasone in the particular aerosol third test you can do for that is start from alphabet c that is the cementidine so it is also injection 
so in that uh, if it injection means it will be the, there in the ampules that ampules you are going to break that become test solution to equal volume you are going to divide though uh, in that uh, uh, first test you best first basic test you can do that is the test solution one uh, volume you are going to take evaporate it and the vapor produce the moistened lead nitrate that will confirm the presence of cemented in in the injection second test you can do the test solution one volume you are going to take in that 10 ml of water and one drop of ammonia if you add one drop of ammonia and one drop of copper sulfate after adding this uh, you are going to heat it after heating you are going to observe the grayish green ppt or grayish green precipitate that will confirm the cemented in in the injection third test you can do for cemented in is test solution 2 here we have divided two equal volume no? so in other test solution 2 we are going to add the potassium iodo bismuth bismuthate right so if you add this one orange precipitate you are going to observe that will confirm the in the given sample of injection there is a cemented in type of drug the fourth uh, which is start from alphabet d that test you can do that is the uh, doxycycline hyalclate tablet actually it is tablet solid doses form 100 mg tablet that you have to grind it uh, 0.1 gram uh, it is going to be test solution 1 and if you take the 25 mg test substance 2 so with these two test substance we are going to perform the basic test for doxycycline first test uh, test substance 2 which is the 25 mg test substance we are going to add the uh, h2so4 sulfuric acid to ml it will give you the yellow color that will confirm the presence of doxycycline in the particular sample of tablet powder second test you can do uh, in zinc chloride 2 ml if you warm uh, two drop of test solution in that you have to add right uh, and uh, uh, the warm should be continued you are going to get the yellow orange that will confirm the presence of doxycycline third test you can do test substance or test drug you are going to take uh, in that you are going to add the fecl3 ferric chloride dark red brown color you are going to observe that will confirm the presence of doxycycline in the given sample of drug or tablet right so uh, here uh, in, in alphabet a b c d we have taken the four important drug uh, from the who guidelines that is for the test procedure for pharmaceutical doses form right so when it comes to so you can give few examples with the their uh, minimum three basic test three or two basic tests so that you that will fulfill your answer thank you